I'm looking around for Julian's point and shoot camera that we got him a couple of years ago. I record probably three fourths of the video for this vlog on this nice camcorder that I'm holding right now. And the other 25% uh, of the video that I record, roughly 25%, uh, is on my phone. And it's done a great job, but the problem is, is that I find myself running out of battery at a alarming rate, and that's not, that's not okay. So I found it. It's actually a Nikon Coolpix. Um, it does do video. Yeah, the problem is, and I couldn't get it to turn on, so I flipped it over, and the, uh, the battery drawer is just so, like, I can't, I can't do that. Yeah, guess I'm going to Best Buy. I've told you before how fickle I am about bags. It's happening again. Less than a month, I'm going from that bag to that bag. This is exciting. There are three minutes left before Project for Awesome 2015 starts. This has become really important to me. I want this to succeed. I want us to do well. There are millions of Presbyterians. I don't know all of them, but there are millions of Presbyterians. If we could each work together to get this done, oh, that would be fantastic. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you beautiful, beautiful people. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Project for Awesome! I am submitting the Living Waters for the World video. Okay, so I gotta enter the YouTube link. Done. Category, water. There are a lot of really great water uh, charities out there. Um, and I don't wanna say Living Waters for the World is the best because they're all great but it's the best. Okay, so use the custom thumbnail. They got a checklist for us. Use the custom thumbnail, done. Make sure the video is set to public, done. Links to the charity in the video description, done. Send your video to all the friends and family, doing it. Encourage your viewers to vote for the video on the P4A website, done. Lastly, be awesome. Submit. Boom! So here is our page. I gotta figure out how to vote. Vote. All righty. We have received one vote. That's fantastic. Oh, oh, I so want, I want this so bad. I want this so bad. These people do such good work. Listen, a lot of people do good work and that's the last time I'm gonna say this because I realize that, you know, life is not a competition. Helping people is not a competition, but the Project for Awesome is a competition and by golly, we are gonna play the game and we're gonna do this and, and I so badly want us to win. I so badly want, Oh, I want good, I want clean water for children. Arrgh. Okay, Project for Awesome is actually going pretty awesome for a small time video producer like me. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. Currently we're still on the second page of the most viewed videos and that's, I, I mean, I don't have much to compare it to, but I think that's pretty remarkable. I've been putting it out on Facebook and Twitter. I've asked people to share it. I've been doing small video updates on my Facebook page. If you wanna, if you wanna see those video updates, you can go down. Uh, the link to my Facebook uh, profile is in the doobly-doo. Some of the videos that they've got on there are just phenomenal. I'm really, really excited. Um, so here's, here, here's one of the things that I'm, that I'm thinking about. So the other day when I talked about having tens of subscribers and, and the tips and the tricks and the things that people do. It occurs to me that I now have a goal for the next year of this vlog before we get to Project for Awesome. And that is, I want to get a lot of subscribers because the people who are getting a lot of views on the Project for Awesome and people voting for their, their charity of choice, these are people who have a pretty extensive network and a pretty extensive subscriber base. And so they're, they're able to, to maximize that right now in order to get the word out for their charity. And, and I know some of these YouTubers. I mean, I don't know them personally, but, but I watch them. And these are, these, are, these are decent people in their own right. The thing about Project for Awesome is here are people who, who get to do what they love a lot of them get to do it for a living. They get to do what they love, but but they also get to use their their reach 
for something good. And, and, and really, that's, that's what life is about or should be about, at least for a guy like me. Um, that's what life should be about. If you've got reach, if you've got influence, if you've got power, if you've got authority, your job is to use whatever reach, whatever power, whatever authority that you have in order to do something good with it. Incidentally, I got a really kind message from the executive director of Living Waters for the World thanking, thanking me for the work. And he said, even just the, the lift of awareness is priceless, so thank you. Um, but I want to thank you all, because all I did was make a silly video. You all have been the ones who have been sharing it. So, from Steve, the executive director of Living Waters for the World, thank you for being willing to, uh, to spend some of your cultural capital. I mean... You know, that, right? When you share things, uh, you, you want to share things that you believe are cool, that you believe are worthwhile. So, so thanks for spending some of your cultural capital and, and, and promoting the, the, the Project for Awesome video of Living Waters for the World. That's, you all are freaking amazing. I love you people. If I could give every single one of you a kiss on the face right now, I would do it. Hashtag kiss on the face. The weather is freakishly nice out here. I'm telling you what, there's nothing like a winter day that's in the 60s. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm heading home. We are taking Julian to go see a Christmas carol this evening. This is something we do every year when the boys turn nine. Oh, there's something in the bushes. This is something we do every year when the boys turn nine. We get to, we take them on a special uh, date, just Geraldine and I and the boy, and we take him to go see a Christmas carol. A couple years ago, Simon said that he got a little bit scared at uh, at the ghost of Jacob Marley. Hope Julian does well. I think he will. So it's gonna be fun. So we're at the Christmas Carol. We take our boys when they're nine years old, and this boy is nine years old. Are you excited about Christmas Carol? <laughs> um, your brother told you that there was a scary part. Which part did he tell you was the scary part? I don't know. I think there's the Bob Marley part. <laughs> it's Jacob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I asked him, I said, which, which part did your brother tell you was the scary part? He said the Bob Marley part. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's intermission, and we're having a good time. Uh, Jude doesn't think this is a ghost story. And I keep telling him, no, this is absolutely a ghost story. I'm not saying story. it's not a ghost story. I'm saying a dish is a different type of ghost story. Oh, Okay. Because a, a, a normal ghost story would be like like a haunted house or something. No, no, really. it'd be more of like usually like summoning something that oh. has to do with like. You know, it's just there's not really 
But that, I mean, Jacob Marley, the ghost of Christmas past. We're about to see the ghost of Christmas present, the ghost of Christmas. Spirit. You're more of spirits. Well, what's the difference? Um, a spirit is more of a ghost is just like, or Marley would be a ghost because he's uh, he's like somebody that died and that's a spirit. But then the spirits are they're like in charge of something. They. I'm not buying it. Not buying it, kid. Charles Dickens meant for this to be a ghost story. I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> He's read better ghost stories. This is one of the most well-read kids that I know. He read Moby Dick yesterday. Like, he was schooling me on Moby Dick. I don't get that. Whatever. All right. All right, so what do you think uh, is going to be up with the second act? Are we going ex- to uh, like the second act? I think we are. That first act was a little slow. Uh, yeah. But Mr. Fezziwig was pretty awesome. It was kind of confusing, the whole thing with Fezziwig. Yeah. You know what I loved about it was hearing Ebenezer Scrooge say spirit the way your mom always says, oh, here's your mom. Spit it. Spit it. Spit it. Spit it. Spit it. Spit it. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can never take it pretty far.